So Alan, could you tell me why you seem to have chained and padlocked yourself to the stern of the boat plus that yellow chair? Yes, it's a very good question. Is this some deep-seated masochism? Mm. Do I need to be punished for some <laughs> unknown crime? It always was a little kinky. Or could it be that one of our chairs got stolen? Indeed. Look, uh, table, one chair, no other chair, no romantic dinners. And that's it. Disaster. Um, and we're heartbroken. It's yes. only the second thing that's been stolen. The first thing that we had stolen mm. was an external generator which was chained to the side here and this was up at the Norton Junction on the Grand Union mm. and it was a quiet sleepy dozy little spot and somewhere early in the morning when it was still dark one guy and I think two guys because it was really heavy gone on board cut the chain and carry the external generator away the last place I would have thought possible the interesting thing in both situations is it's highly likely we were actually on the boat in both cases we worked it out it shows how daft we are on a boat that people just yeah. wander on and off and we don't notice them but we have a solution we are chaining our chair to no, not the solution of chaining everything no. that isn't moving to the boat. The oh, no, more sensible solution, solution of what second. this video is on today. That was my link for you yes. to start talking about so, today's topic. So this is about security. Because right. the truth is, on a boat, you've always got stuff on the roof. You know, you may have plants. You may have a, a, a really good hose pipe. You have bit, other bits and pieces. And, it's amazing, and cold as well. Yep. And it's amazing that more stuff doesn't get nicked, but we are doing something which we should have done a long time ago. If you come this way, mm -hmm. I will show you. Okay, following you, We following are you. going to fit a solar security light. In fact, we are fitting how many? There's two on the boat already, and we've got another four. Yeah. So there's going to be six of these little buggers on a boat. We're going to and be like Blackpool Illuminations. We, are. we will light up at night. It will be quite magnificent when you see us from probably from outer space. <laughs> It'll be really quite amazing. So here we are. I've got, I've got the uh, guide holes here. They're yep. already marked up by by and my, my technical indeed, assistant. Indeed, yes, uh, me. And I'm about to start drilling. And so. it po it point out there's solar as well. Yeah, um, the, we're always interested in using yeah. things um, that um, uh, fuel up naturally. Um, so these are great. We've got a couple on the boat already and they're brilliant. I tell you as well, as a woman walking up and down the canal, I, was, if, I wish all the other boats would stick them on their side of their boats because it's so nice um, as you walk past little dark areas of the canal to be lit up by the boats as you go by. They only yeah. turn on as you pass by, so they don't bother anybody else. Turn on momentarily. Yeah. But it does feel so nice. Um, right. So other boaters, please. Please, um, if you feel so inclined, they're cheap as chips. I think these 20 quid for four. Well, something like that, yeah. Yeah. Boat security, very yeah. important because we are more vulnerable in the open. Mm. Um, many places on the towpath get dark at night. Uh, tip is always try and moor up under some lights and with other boaters. So, right. Let's get on with this then. Okay, so... We are going gonna... to start drilling. Put that All down. Alright, when you start drilling, I'm going to pause the tape because no. nobody wants to listen to somebody drilling. No. It's never pleasant. Yeah, this takes a while because I'm drilling metal. So okay. Ooh, okay. I'm probably at that point... Let's see what happens. With our brand new drill. We managed to break two drills. Can you believe it? Two. This is drill number three. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get DIY People of the Year award. We need to be better <laughs> drilled, don't we? Uh, oh, shameful. Okay. Here we go. All right. You're filming. Three okay, we, um, we've drilled one. Um, rather disappointingly, it's only about a millimetre in at the moment. Um, but we're trying the other one. See how that goes. Fingers crossed. Okay. We're through on the left-hand side. Woo on the right. Oh, baby, that looks good. That wasn't too bad, actually. No, that's not too that's bad. That's our it's... new drill. That must be the new no, lovely hopefully drill. Hopefully, the holes will line up. Oh, yeah. That looks all right. Okay. And we need a couple of screws, don't we? Splendid. And don't forget to take the sticky tape off. I'm going to pause the camera while we go and find uh -huh. screws from somewhere. Okay, so we've got both screw holes uh, ready to go and Alan is about to drill in the little solar panel. Take it away. Fabulous. Felt good, good Ooh, grip yeah, there. Oh, yes. Ah, nice. Only another five to go. 
And only ve <laughs> leaning very slightly. That's what? not too bad. Is it slightly drunken? It's slightly, oh, yeah. It's list slightly drunken. Well, oh, you're well. on a boat, so you expect Indeed. things to list uh, a bit, don't you? Indeed. So the sensor yeah. light's listing a little bit. But right. Splendid. There we are. We'll try them out tonight. Okay. Excellent. Blackpool Illuminations. Mm -hmm. in. That's all for now, I think. Any last words from you, Mr. Danman? No. No. None from me. No, no profound statements or no. Uh, that was much easier than I thought it would be. I Way. don't That's, enjoy Alan very rares very rarely says those words that was much easier than I thought it would be. And oh. I very rarely say things like I love DIY. Yeah, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay. Bye for now. Doodle pip. <laughs>